Good morning, children. So this is Shaila Ma'am here with the next English, uh, next lesson in your English class. So we are going to do the unit five, the lesson five, which is adopt a pet. So I'll read this for you all. Okay. So what it says is we are beginning with some pictures on the in the textbook. You all see the pictures of these animals. What are these? There's a pigeon, a dog with some ducklings and a cat with a, a kitten with a puppy dog so what are the, what are these these are our pets usually people have all these as pets with their homes we love to have pets right yes so most of us love to have dogs and cats or birds at home like we have love birds pigeons hen cock all these so we're going to learn about them today so i'll just read this out just listen can you believe a cat can respond emotionally to human sorrow? Which means to say the dogs, animals, cats whom we have as pet are so attached emotionally with us. Okay, they are more like friends and member of a family that anything that is wrong they get, they actually can't understand what's happening. Like if you are in sorrow, they will also feel that sorrow that emotion like i'll give you an example i had a pet dog when i was a child a small child so i lost one of my uncle so in his death uh, we the dog which we had a pet dog called tommy he was so attached to that uncle of mine so when my uncle passed away the dog kept his head on the dead bed of that uncle and it literally had tears in his eyes so he was missing him he knows that he's not going to come back so this is how the animals the pets whom we uh, have with us they are like so attached to us so even if, you, if somebody is dead in the family they actually cry for them so that is one story which is shared over here in the lesson can you believe a cat can respond emotionally to human sorrow this story appeared in the english magazine called tomorrow Bill the cat was at home while his master was away on a trip. The man was seriously injured in a railway accident during the trip. He died for few days later in a ha died a few days later in a hospital. So what happened? This man he had a pet cat called Bill, and he left the cat at home and went on a trip. So while he was out on a trip, he died. He met with a railway accident and he died i mean he was in the hospital for some time and he died what happened to the dog the, the cat the bill at home at the burial the man's brother was shocked to see bill at the burial site the faithful cat a traveled to the far away hospital grave site looked at the coffin with tears in its eyes and then had returned home is this not an example of animal love towards humans so what happened the bill the cat which was at home came to know that the uh, the master has died and met with an accident and died it traveled all the way till the burial ground near the hospital and went for his funeral shed tears during the funeral so uh, this was uh, witnessed by that man's brother so he, he was shocked to see the cat come all the way from home stay there for the funeral it actually had tears in its eyes and went back home after the funeral so that's how the animals show their love to us so we should also similarly show our love to the animals they when we love them they will love and um, surrender themselves they'll be so obedient to you all right so they are so emotionally attached with us so our love for animals should always grow we should not see animals on the roads and start hitting them with stick or throwing stones on the dogs one day it will come back and bite you what you will do you'll have to run but if you give a biscuit when you're going that side the dogs will feel happy next time when it sees you it waves its tail and it'll ask you to be more friendly with it right so that's how you show your love for the animals rather than hitting and chasing them so let's go through the lesson now adopt a pet mona likes the local zoo very much she enjoys visiting it it has different kinds of animals in it the animals do not live in cages but in the places they are used to 
the zoo makes these places for them so what happens mona is a girl she likes animals and she loves to go to the zoo near her place she often used to visit the zoo and that zoo is has different kinds of animals and they do not live in cages in small cages where they shut and kept they are made a place it's like a forest they give them the forest appearance but the animals live the way they want like if the tigers and uh, lions live in a live in a cave or den they have they make caves and dens for them to live just they give an forest atmosphere so the animal will live in that now they've given an example of a penguin a nice machine makes a penguin swim swimming pool very cool making it suitable for them so what they have the machine which makes ice and chill water so they make the old place with a lot of ice and the cold water where the penguins can live because penguins live in arctic side antarctic side where it's really cold and chill for them right so they live in that snow and ice places so here what they do they make the similar atmosphere or weather for them where it's filled with ice and ice water so the penguin can swim they can catch fishes the fishes are thrown for them into the ice ponds so where they can swim go catch fish eat them and they will also be moving around in the ice similarly there are also chimpanzees in the zoo so what do they do for the chimpanzees mona enjoys watching the chimpanzees they live in a cage with trees caves rocks and a small lake so the cage of the chimpanzee is really huge it's big and uh, there will there will be trees and caves and rocks and lake for them some small trees in between with fruits so they can swing around jump around go sleep in the cave come out and play in the lake climb the tree pluck the fruits and eat and they're also fed with other fruits and vegetables whatever they like by the zoo keeper so there are about 15 chimps chimps is a short word for chimpanzee there are about 15 chimps including four babies the babies are carried everywhere by the mothers they feel secure because they have similar atmosphere as in the forest so chimpanzees usually live in forest so here an atmosphere like a forest is created for them so that they don't miss the forest and they don't feel like some your cage you can't move around a big place is made so that they can move around as is as freely as possible and so they also have babies with them which the mothers carry them wherever they go so they are all feel secure because it's a forest atmosphere mona also likes watching birds in the aviary now what is aviary listen an aviary is a small forest with a wire net over and around it the birds can fly about and build their nest in the trees many of the birds are very beautiful some like the pelicans are very large birds and aviary can accommodate bigger birds also a bird the a variety of birds are seen here it is interesting to observe observe their kind the moments in it so what happens there's an aviary which is a very big cage like thing it's got netted net all on like you have love birds at home all those who have love birds at home you'll know you'll have an cube like cage and it's all net all the sides all meshed around so that the birds are inside they can fly inside we'll have small pots for them to go in and come out the food is kept inside the cage they'll be flying inside or like that that's a small cage which we have at home here in the zoo what they do they make it really big very big and there'll be trees also small small trees planted there so the birds can pluck the twigs from the trees and they can build nests in the trees and the food will be fed to them so they'll multiply so that's an aviary a small forest with a wire net over and around it so the ceiling and around it so if it's open they fly out so it is also wired on the top full meshed on the top and around so the birds doesn't fly out but they are inside and they have lot of place to fly around inside and so uh, aviary could be that big where it can accommodate a big pelican pelican is like a 
a crane or a stalk a crane like bird which has a big uh, beak and a po socket like i mean a pouch like thing under the beak so that's pelican so that's a big bird so an aviary can also have a big bird and they need a lot of water to live in state so even a small pond or lake is created for them the zoo, zoo needs money to feed the animals some people adopt animals and pay for their food mona has adopted a small monkey she sends 20 rupees every month to the zoo to pay the monkey's food she wanted to adopt a tiger tigers need meat every day so provide food for them would be very expensive monkeys eat nuts and fruits which are cheaper so mona adopted a monkey now what is this mona wanted to adopt a tiger what is adoption adoption is something which you make as your own so you cannot get the animal at home and keep and take care of the animal as your own that you can't do so what you can do is send money to that for that animal's food and to take care of the animal care taking of the animal what and all expenditure is bared for that animal the doctors if the doctors have to come and visit the animal if the animal is sick or feed the animal with the food every day whatever it eats all that money that much of money is told to the adopter and say that you know you are adopting this animal and this is going to be the um, you know cost of money which you have to give and the sponsor the person who is adopting the animal will have to pay monthly or once in a year so what happens here mona wants to adopt a tiger but tiger eats meat every day and that's going to be really expensive expensive means costly you have to pay more money right so mona is a small girl she is not going to work to earn money so she gets a little bit of pocket money from her parents out of her pocket money she gives 20 rupees for a year to feed, uh, every month every month she gives 20 rupees and tells a zookeeper to feed the chimpanzee or a monkey a small monkey so it needs only fruits and nuts so nothing much so the expenditure is not too much so it is not that expensive so mona can afford 20 rupees per month from her pocket money whereas for a tiger it's too, going to be too much so she can't do so she adopts a monkey and sends 20 rupees so what i would say your children also should love animals do not tease or hurt animals when you see them on the road or even when you go to zoo do not tease the monkeys and throw stones or the, you know pelting stones on dogs on the road is not advisable one day they'll revert back and bite your children all you'll have to do is to love them give them affection if possible get one small uh, dog a puppy dog or a cat possible keep at home feed them if it's not possible to do keeping at home even the street dogs just whatever food remains give them give them in a corner do not throw it on the road and dirty the space uh, the road or the place keep it in the corner for a small plate for them they'll come eat and go and they'll be very grateful to you all okay so let's go further the new words now there are meanings for your children learn the meanings of the new words so cage means a small pen a bare clo enclosure so it's barred all over it's barred enclosure so you know what's a cave which is kept at home also and a cave cave is a hollow in a rock or a hill or a mountain it's a rock where there is a hollow inside the animal can go inside live inside okay lake is a small pool of water adopt to accept your own to accept as your own expensive is costly so i want you all to write the meanings in your classwork in your english classwork and let's go to the next that's your question answers now i have written the answers for you all this is the first main answer the following so the first question i have written for you all what does mona like what does mona like it's on your page 61 it says mona likes the local zoo so when you are writing the question answer you have to write the question number that's one what does mona like then you'll have to write answer because none of you all write the numbers or the answer one and answer answer is mona likes the local zoo 
That's the answer. What does Mona like? She likes to go and visit the local zoo, right? So Mona likes the local zoo. Leave one line and go to the next question. I have not written the question for you all. Please write the question. What does it have? Just like this, you have to write two and say what does it have? And your answer for the second question is it uh, has different kinds of animals. What does it have? What is it over here? It means the zoo. Mona likes the zoo, right? The zoo. So what does the zoo have? What does it have? It has different kinds of animals. That's your second one. Now third one. The third question is name the things in the cages for the chimpanzee. So the chimps live in a cage and we have to know what all things you find in the cage. Now what do you all find? That's your third answer. I've written A. You all have to write A and S is a short form for answer. And write the chimpanzee live in a cage with trees, caves, rocks and a small lake in it. Okay. In it. So the cave has trees, caves, I mean the cage has trees, caves, rocks and small lakes in it. Okay, the chimpanzees live in a cage with trees, caves, rocks and a small lake in it. That's the answer for the third question. Let's go to the fourth question. The fourth question says, where are the birds kept? Where are the birds kept? Where are the birds kept children? They're kept in a, that enclosed cage that's called the aviary where you have trees and uh, which is closed but you'll have tree and forest set up inside where the birds can build the nest. So fourth answer, the birds are kept in an aviary. So when you're writing in your four line books, this is how you'll have to write. I wish you all, I mean I wanted you all to write in cursive writing, you are, all of you all have learnt in your pre-KG and in a KG section and first standard to write in cursive. So start writing in cursive, the birds are kept in an aviary, A-V-I-A-R-Y, aviary, okay. So let's go to the next, mark, write, tick or cross against the statements given below. So it's nothing but a true or false. So if it's true, you put a tick mark. If it's a false, you put a cross mark. So the first question is, animals in the zoo live in places they are used to, right? So in the zoo is a place which is made like the way they used to. So in a zoo, they live in the place where they are used to. So that is correct. The statement, so the first statement is correct. That's the animals live in the zoo Animals in the zoo live in, live in places they are used to. It's a correct statement. So we put tick mark. The second one, chimps carry the babies wherever they go. And which is also true. So we put a tick mark. Next is an aviary. In an aviary, the birds cannot build their nest. So in an aviary, we have trees and everything where the birds can build their nest you know, on the trees. But this statement says they cannot build the nest, but they can. So the statement is wrong. So we just put the cross mark. The, third, the fourth one, an adopt, adopting animals means paying for their food. Adopting animals, here Mona adopts a monkey and pays for the monkey's food. But adopting is not just only paying for the food you are making that monkey or the animal which you are adapting as your own you cannot take it home because you cannot make a forest atmosphere for that monkey but whatever is the expenditure for its food for its caretaking it's given there once in a while you go visit that animal to see how it is it's like your own family member or something like that so you often go and visit that animal so adopting uh, means it's not just paying for the money it also more than that you're owning that thing for yourself so that's a wrong statement so we'll put cross for that that's the fourth one now what do i say is go to the third one and say look at the picture and write the names one is done for you so these are the pictures which given here 
the first one is done the first one is the nest that's already done for y'all the next one is what the face of a chimp so it's a chimpanzee so you have to write chimpanzee over here write it over here these things you will have to write in your notebook the meaning question answer true or false will be written in your classwork this look at the picture and write will be done in your textbook do not write in your notebook the first one is nest next is the chimpanzee so you write chimpanzee over here and this is a lake so there's lake here L A K E lake. Then you see the picture of where the birds are flying. Picture of birds flying. So birds. Then the last one is a picture of a cage. So that's cage. So you all have to write all this in the same textbook, not write in your book. Now next, let us spell. This has to be written in your notebook. Fill in the miss missing letters to spell the words. One is done for you. That's B A dash I E S. Now, what could that be? Babies. B A in the dash space. You'll write B B A B I E S. So similarly, E dash dash O Y is enjoy. E N J O Y. W A dash C H is watch. W A T C H. You watch the monkeys playing in the zoo. Like that, kangaroo, K A N G A R dash dash. The dash dash will be O O. The seventh one is A D dash dash T is A D O P T adopt. I'll go to the side. P E L I dash dash N is pelican. P E L I C A N pelican. M O A M O dash dash E Y is monkey. M O N K E Y monkey. P E N dash dash I N is penguin. P E N G U I N penguin. E X P dash dash S I V E expensive. E X P E N S I V E expensive. This is. On page sixty-three, so all that is on page sixty-three. You'll have to finish. That is um, meanings and the exercises first, second, and uh, learn the new. I mean, uh, let us spell will be written in a notebook except for this. Raya, see the picture and write will be written in the same textbook. Okay, so please forward me the photo of your notes which you have done. Thank you, children, and learn all the meanings. Okay. Thank you have a good day